My name is Erica Probst. I have been a Hillsborough resident since 2001. And in 2017, I authored the book, Friends on My Street, A Celebration of Diversity. This book is illustrated by Sara Rakaz. And Sara is also a Hillsborough resident. She is originally from Sri Lanka. And she did the illustrations based on photos that I had of all of our neighbors. And this book is a true representation of the street where I live in Hillsboro. And we happen to live on a very, very diverse street. One of the things that, um, that we did in the book is we put maps. So you will see maps on every page. Um, the maps represent the continent of where um, each neighbor is from, and then it narrows it down to the country. And then there's also um, a dot on the hometown of, of each of the people. We have neighbors on my street who represent so many countries. We have neighbors from Argentina and Barbados, Belgium, China, um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, um, Sri Lanka, Nigeria, China, um, South Korea. We have neighbors from France. We have neighbors from all over the world. And one of our neighbors was um, at, at one of our get togethers. He and his family had recently moved onto the street. And we often have get togethers. We have barbecues. We're always doing things as a street. And he came to one of the barbecues and he just looked around and he said, this is beautiful. This is really a true representation of what it should be like in America. People from all over the world, but coming together as neighbors and as community. So he looked at me and he said, you really should write about this. He knew that I liked to write and he said, you need to share the story of our street. And with that, the idea of, of writing the book was born. And, and I sat on it for a while and, um, and decided, yeah, yeah, we really do need to share, um, share this beautiful street. So the book is written from the perspective of my oldest son. He was five at the time, and I made sure that he knew all the words. So as we talked about it, he knew all the words. So this is my son Sawyer, and then this is Rowan. And the book is written from the perspective of, um, of Rowan. And so as he starts the book, he says, Hi, my name is Rowan. I am five years old. I live with my mom and my dad and my brother. We live in Oregon, a state in the United States. The United States is in North America. My parents told me that where we live is also called the Pacific Northwest. My mom is from Alaska and my dad grew up close to where we live. My dad is also part of the Karuk tribe from Northern California. My parents have promised me that they will teach my brother and me all about the Karuk tribe as we grow up because we are part of the Karuk tribe too. One of my favorite things to do is play with friends, especially friends on my street. I would like to introduce you to some of my friends and neighbors. My parents told me the names of the countries where many of my neighbors are from. I think it is really neat that I have neighbors from so many different places around the world. So again, it's written from, from my son's perspective. And um, being that he's a kid and a lot of the families did have children, um, he talks more about the, um, the children. So this is his um, best friend, Dion, and Dion's sister, Maya. And so he talks about his best friend. He says, Dion moved here from California when he was two. California is a state in the United States next to Oregon. We have been best friends ever since he moved here. We learned to ride two wheel bikes on the same day. He lost his first tooth before me though. Dion has a little sister, Maya. She is only one, but she likes to play with us. Maya and my brother Sawyer have fun playing together. So he's really talking about this from, from his perspective, um, from, from knowing his, um, his neighbors. And, um, this is Uche and Uju and Olivia. And Olivia now has a younger brother, Michael. Um, so we've had some additions to our street since the book was written. So it says, Olivia is still a baby. 
I remember when she was growing in her mom's tummy last summer. Her mom and dad moved here from Nigeria, a country in Africa. They are part of the Ibu tribe of Nigeria, and Olivia is learning to speak Ibu and English. My family went to a big party to celebrate Olivia's birth. There was a lot of music, dancing, and people from Nigeria wearing clothes with lots of bright and beautiful colors. I loved all the bright colors and I loved the dancing too. So one of the things that, um, that Rowan described in the book is um, talking about all the different languages that the neighbors are learning as well. So that's been, um, that's been fun to see all of the children growing up. A lot of them growing up um, learning not only English, but also um, their parents' native language. And sometimes that's more than one. So sometimes they're learning um, um, three languages as opposed to a lot of us in the United States who grow up with one language. So this is about Nadia. Nadia is right here, and her father, Inshaf, and her mom, Abby. Now, Nadia also has a younger brother now, Horace. So again, we've had, some, we've had some additions to our street. Nadia lives a little further down my street. She turned one this winter. Her dad is from Sri Lanka, and her mom is from Arizona. Sri Lanka is an island country in Asia. Arizona is a state in the United States, next to California. Nadia is learning to speak English, English, Sinhala, and Tamil. Sinhala is a national language of Sri Lanka, and Tamil is the local language of her dad's family. Nadia's family is Muslim, and her mom wears a hijab, a scarf that covers her head and hair. My mom told me that her family celebrates Ramadan. During the month of Ramadan, they do not eat or drink anything from the time the sun comes up in the morning to the time the sun goes down at night. Nadia will do this when she is older. My parents told me that sometimes people are mean to women who wear the hijab because they dress differently. That made me sad. I don't know why people would be mean to other people because they look or dress different. So that was also a really um, main point of writing the book as well, to talk about celebrating diversity and making sure that um, that children learn that people will look different, people will dress differently, and that it's important to be kind to everybody. And um, so it was a really important message, I think, to, to send out from the perspective of a young child. Um, again, this book has um, many, many different stories from, from families on my street. I, um, I didn't want to have to read all of them. There were, there were about 17 different stories within this book. Um, one of the things that I did do is I wrote up a um, kind of like a little teaching tool um, that, that people can go through as they read the book or, um, or think about doing after reading the book. And it's, it's simple tasks like learning how to say hello in the languages from countries that are represented in the book or from countries represented um, from neighbors on your own street. Um, on a map, find and color all the countries in the book. Or again, you could do this for neighbors within your own street. Find a, a map and, and highlight all of the countries that, um, that your own neighbors are from. Um, draw a neighborhood um, that represents what your neighborhood looks like. So draw a picture and describe um, what your own neighborhood looks like. Um, Find five facts about a country within either the book or of one of your neighbors that you didn't know before. Um, find different colorful dresses of different cultures represented in the book and, and design um, different outfits based on the cultures described in the book. Draw the flags from each of the countries within the book or within um, countries represented in your own neighborhood. So it really gives an opportunity to learn about different countries, about different cultures. And the bigger picture is the representation that this is um, such an important part of, of the United States, having people come from all over the world, from all different backgrounds, from all different races, all different religions, and finding community. And a neighborhood should really be community. And think about what, what you're doing as a family to make sure that your neighbors feel welcome. 
what do you do to to create community within your own neighborhood so that's really why i wrote the book is to help um spread the the beautiful message of of diversity but also the importance of of community and um really share that aspect so i hope you enjoyed the book again friends on my street a celebration of diversity and if you have any questions um, you can feel free to reach out. Um, I do have a Facebook page for the book and, um, on that, I, I have a fact that I try and share every day about, a, um, an event in civil rights history or, um, some important event that has occurred, whether it's the birth of somebody or an actual event, um, that has occurred on that date. So I try to do something just to kind of share information on, on a daily basis, but you can definitely reach me there. Again, it's on Facebook at Friends on My Street. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.